Because I'd have to do like a, a, a fun, well, I have something in mind later, but I see a couple of things about that. Okay. You guys like stories? So part of our American uh, this mixture of this, uh, you know, melting pot, this tossed salad, people call it sometimes, because all the elements stay the same, but they were against each other, um, is that you get to create new things. So I had children, you know, and uh, I decided to create this piece called Chocolate Nachos. I thought it would give you a nice little smile as you think about the cultural diversity um, among us. You ready to hear it? This is the story of the chocolate nachos, a snack I invented with my best friend Paco with some minor assistance from Rocco, Rene, and Flocko, but let me stop though. So I tell you a little bit of a lot so you can truly understand that sneaky, underhanded, no good, dirty, rotten, sudden, so named Rocco. See, Rocco is that bully from up the block who broke my yo-yo, ate my Oreos, and put rocks in my socks. He even broke my favorite CD by Tupac, that darn Rocco. He just comes over that day with his little sister Renee and a scraggly little teddy bear named Flocko and sticks his belly little sausage fingers right into the chocolate nachos as well. It all started with me and Paco. We were trying to find the distraction, the deviation to his stepmom's little spacho. We happened upon the aforementioned chocolate nachos. Now, Paco swears it's all because he put in so many nachos, but I poured in the most chocolate. He must have forgot, though. You know Paco, he lies a lot, though. He says his mom won a lot, so they won a lot, so they move away any day. Now, anyway, anyhow, this is about the time when Rocco comes bursting in through our unlocked door, and when a teddy bear in tow comes a little sister Renee, cries a lot. No matter what you do to get her to stop. Hey, Renee! I bought some leftover party pencils in the bowl of this delicious gazpacho. She started crying and running away from us as if we had the chicken box to work for the Gestapo. She ended up in the living room where she slipped on a sliding sock, but she swallowed a bug and slipped on the rock and swallowed her frog. And that darn rock, that softened rock, pushes her over the line. He says, Stop your crying, and all this time, flock. The bear. It's flying through the air and almost lands in the chocolate nachos, which would have been a catastro. <clears throat> Phew, rock. Leaps into the air, snatches the bear, but knocks over the entire pot of gazpacho and spills a bag of mini marshmallows. But he's seen the chocolate nachos, so we just clean the mess up and laugh so hard till we cry, and the tears in Renee's eyes just stop. So we decided it's finally time to try these chocolate nachos. We approached them like new chocolate apostles. It was the true snack gospel. We each took a bite and instantly felt colossal. Chocolate nachos made even the impossible Rocco act. Less hostile. He stood over ever so slow with me and Paco, and asked was impossible if he, Renee, and Flacco could have chocolate nachos to go. And I said, heck no. But we had a chance to see the time on the clock. Yo, Rocco snatches the entire bowl and runs out the front door. And I would like to tell you more about the story of the chocolate nachos. But for now, that's all I got you.